EURUSD have made a progress towards the upwards upper prices on the market and we can see how this market has ended. It has, it has ended as a bullish week. The first day in this week was this small bullish candle where we have the previous week Friday closed here and the week was down where we have mentioned the previous analysis that the critical level for this price was here 1.073. This is also a price level that I have mentioned the previous analysis when the price was heading up from these lower levels. The price have managed to return a little bit back testing the previous support which is around 1.073 and from there the price has continued to move up. We can see that the price on a Monday has ended as above 1.0725, which was also a nice signal. But Tuesday it was a critical day where we can see that the price have managed to close above, above these two candles. You can see this critical level 1.08256 and then the price also has ended above this uptrend previous resistance now it's a, then it was acting as a support then on a Wednesday we can see an indecision candle where the price could not find its way going up or down but the price have managed to touch this supply zone where the sellers are and we can see that this was also a critical level for the price 1.08537 on a Wednesday, we can see the price has returned back down, testing the area below that where the buys are waiting and we who are pushing the price to the upper side. Thursday was a critical day also for the buyers. We can see that the price have managed to go up, going above 1.08846, touching this monthly currently resistance trend line and from there the price on the, on the Friday has returned back down. Have in mind that this bullish momentum that took the price here to this area where the supply zone is and also where the sellers are, the bulls who have pushed the price here has exited here and that was also activation of the sell-off of this price on a Friday because it is also end of the month, today is the 1st of April, so the traders have locked their profit, gone out, locked their profit for this for the month March, and the price has returned back down. We can see that the price has touched an area 1.09230, and it has returned to 100 pips down. So this Friday sell-off is not is not an indication that the price will continue to fall further down, but it is just indication that the buyers have exited from their trades, who have pushed the price from here and the sellers who are, who are waiting here have entered into the trade. So because of this strong supply zone where the sellers are, it was, ex it was expected that the price will bounce from this area. This is the second time that the price is touching this area, so it is a nice indication that the bulls are uh, strong and they have strength to push the price on higher levels. But let's see how this looks on a weekly time frame and also a monthly time frame. First of all, this is the weekly time frame where we can see that this week has ended as a bullish week. We can see that the price on a Monday has started with a gap where the previous week, the Friday has closed here and the Monday has opened here. So this means that the price had a bullish momentum and also bullish, bullish strength over the weekend that have pushed the price on higher level and opened the market at this price. We can see that this week has ended above 1.07825, which is also a critical level. And in the previous analysis, I have mentioned this area here, 1.08. And also this one, 1.083, are one of the critical levels for the price but the price has managed to close above those levels, which means the bulls are in the game again and they are running uh, their way to the upper side. We can see that the price have managed to touch this area here, which, we which I have explained on a daily time frame, and it is an area, a confluence of, this, of the resistance where the sellers are waiting, and it is a strong supply zone. We can see that this is a monthly, resistance now it will act as a support 
and this one is a weekly resistance. So the price has bounced from this area right here. So this week has ended as a bullish one, which is also nice to see. It is pretty clear signal. Now let's go to the monthly time frame so we can see how this looks on the monthly. In the previous week analysis, I have mentioned that if the month closes above 1.07825, it will be a good indication that the price will be in the bullish mode for the next month. We can see that the price has managed to go above 1.073 on a monthly time frame, which is also a critical level for the price. Now we can see that the price could not reach 1.086, which is also a critical level on a monthly time frame, but the price have managed to make a week above that, testing the previous highs. You can see that this in February was also the highest point that the price has touched. So this month is also a great indication how the bulls have managed to find strength around this area here, around 1.05 and they have pushed the price to the higher levels above 1.07825 which is a monthly resistance now it will act as a support now let's check how this could look for the next month just a minute one step okay now we have it here so the price is above this downtrend which is now acting as a support and it is below this uptrend which is now acting as a resistance so the goal for the price is to go above this uptrend resistance and above 1.098 if the price goes above that it will be great indication that the price could reach 1.1071 area which is close to the february highest point and the price could could reach higher levels and if the price closes above this resistance level this confluence of the resistance it will mean that the price is again in the just a minute in this uptrend and also it will be inside this one triangle just a minute i need to show you a little bit like this so you can see that the price have managed to make this triangle so the price was going outside making a breakout now it has returned back testing this now is acting as a resistance maybe after that it will go inside and it will make it as a support so a critical point for the price is 1.099 which is also 1.1 if the price on the monthly time frame in april manages to go above it will mean that the price has returned back inside so it will open an area to reach 1.11871 which is the next resistance level for the price you can see that the price in the past when when it was around this area it was always it has always reached 1.198 1187 sorry which is uh, 1.12 so after this one a breakout there is no pretty big obstacle on a monthly time frame that the price will reach this area but until the price goes above that we cannot say it will make this move for sure in the next month so this month if the price goes above that and closes the month above it will be a great indication that the bulls are inside and the price will continue to rise in value in the next month let's go to the weekly time frame let's see so this is the monthly uptrend which is now acting as a resistance so this is also a critical level for the price to go above on a weekly time frame we can see that the critical level is also this one here and also this one here uh, which is 1.091 which is close to 1.1 area on a monthly time frame so just a minute to stretch this line a bit so it is much clearer to see the candles so critical level is here if the price goes above that and closes above 1.1 price level the next one will be here 1.104 but you can see that the wicks have managed to go above and reach at 1.112 so we have in front of the price some critical levels because it is a large confluence of resistance which needs to be broken we can see that the price has managed to go each week 
on a higher price and we can see that critical level is this one here 1.086 which is close to 1.088 so the, for the price on uh, upside it is the critical level but if the price goes back down and returns back to this 1.07825 critical level if the price goes and closes below this one which is 1.076 the next one where the price could go is 1.073 which is a critical level on the daily time frame which we will see and below that is this one here which is 1.068 close to 1.07 so in front of the price for the next week I'm expecting that the price will continue to move up because there is still area for the price to reach this area 1.0886 and then we will see how this will uh, do on a daily time frame. Now let's go on a daily time frame and see which are critical levels for the price that we could expect the price could bounce. Now the Friday have has made that the price returns back down and there is a probability that the price will go a little bit down here 1.08264 which is also uh, an area where the buyers are still waiting and also which is also confluence between the buyers and the sellers but there is now also an option that the price could return here to this area 1.079 let's say 1.08 which is a round number and the price could bounce from here where the buys are waiting and where the demand zone is so this could be uh, again next push for the buyers that could push the price above this critical confluence of resistance have in mind this this area here is pretty strong because it is on a monthly time frame weekly time frame and now it is on a daily time frame but we have seen that monthly and weekly and currently the daily is suggesting that the price could go up but because of this strong confluence where the supply zone is we can see that the price has tried in the past to go above but it but it, then it has returned 500 pips down now the next second attempt was here that pushed the price down to this one 300 pips and then the price now continues to move up again testing this area so this one is the third one so there is a high probability that the price will continue to move up and break above but before that happens we need to see how the price will behave on a monday and tuesday which are critical levels for the rest of the week if the price goes down below this 1.07825 this will mean that we are still open to reach 1.0733 which is a critical level for the daily time frame we can see it here but if the price stays above this price level which will mean the buys are still holding and they are ruling the market which is now becoming a bullish market on a euro usd that is all from today analysis i hope you enjoyed if you have any question feel free to leave a comment if you like the analysis click the like button and subscribe see you next time and a happy trading